Tarius, welcome to York City Football Club. How was the decision making for you to, to sign for York? Yeah, it was it was a no brainer in the end. Um, and yeah, just excited that it's got done now. Yeah, you came and had a look around initially and you've sort of looked at the place and looked at the facilities and spoke to people and ultimately you've come to that decision to come and join us. Yeah, obviously speaking to the gaffer, um, having a look around and him telling me his plans for the club and the expectations for this club in the next couple of years. Um, it sounded exciting um, and he was keen to, for me to be a part of that. So I thought, yeah, it, it, it all worked, it all connected and sounded good. Yeah, what were those sort of conversations like? How, how aligned were they sort of from both sides? Yeah, it was just obviously he, knew, he, he knows what my strengths are and how he wants to play and he sees me being very um, successful here um, and obviously he told me about the the structure of the club and um, obviously the fans and how it, it's it's a big club, it is a big club, one of the biggest in this league for sure so um, yeah, it was always exciting to be honest to hear, um, obviously I played here last season so I knew what it was like a bit um, so yeah, yeah it was it's all good. An exciting move, one that maybe comes with a bit, a bit of pressure, you know, a bit of expectation because, as you said, you know, big club, you know, significant fan base, but with that comes an expectation from from both them and, and, and you, really. Yeah, you're you're always going to have pressure in football. Like, it's um, it's a tough industry, isn't it? So you're always under pressure. Um, so obviously, I've just got to take that pressure and be excited for it, I guess. Yeah, you touched on playing here last season, two goals. Uh, you sort of had a little bit of a flavour of what the place is like, you know, being the villain, how excited to be the, the good guy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, obviously, yeah, played here, uh, got a couple of goals. Um, but we're on the same side now, and hopefully I can bring them um, excitement and joy. Uh, how, much your, sort of, sorry, how much has your sort of game developed, you know, since you, know, you shot through at a pretty early age and you've had to sort of almost develop yourself as a youngster? continuously as an adult, how have you sort of... Yeah, obviously yes. played quite a few games now um, at my age, so um, I've experienced a lot um, and I think it's only helped me become a better player, a better person. Um, and yeah, it's just got to push on now even more. Obviously I had a, a quite good season last season, um, but obviously it got the momentum of last season got caught short through uh, injury like to my ankle off a tackle so but yeah um, it was all it's still a successful season and I look to better it, better it this season so I'm excited to sort of better that under hinge and his sort of style of play and philosophy almost yeah definitely I think his the way he wants to play um, will suit me um, and yeah it's gonna be exciting to watch, I hope. Yeah, for those who are maybe not too sure, sort of describe yourself as a player, do you prefer to be through the middle out wide? What are your sort of um, in those regards? I'm more of a winger, like I can play either side, a winger. Um, like to get out players, take players on, um, score goals, assist goals, just affect, um, affect the game as much as possible. And the dirty side, defending? Uh, yeah, yeah, don't mind it. <laughs> um, obviously, this, in this day and age of football, you can't really get away with not being good out of possession. So, yeah, definitely like my fair share of getting in the dirty work as well. <laughs> How does the summer look for you now? Sorry? How does the summer look for you? Um, just keeping fit. Obviously, as a footballer, you don't really... It's called a break, but you probably get about two weeks off and then you've got to start getting, getting fit again. So, um, yeah, I'm back in that stage of building up my fitness again and being ready for uh, to kickstart the pre-season, sorry. Explain the sort of summer process, you know, to supporters and maybe I'll show maybe what a player does during the summer almost. They maybe see the holiday side but they don't know the yeah. other side of it. Yeah, just obviously you get, obviously when the season finishes you probably get probably two weeks to yourself to just go on holiday, enjoy um, yourself and then you've got to start thinking about being in good shape when you get back in for pre-season and obviously that can take up can take um, up to like a month or so so I guess you've just got to start ticking over road running and stuff um, gym um, obviously you still get your holidays within that but yeah just 
got to start taking care of your body again, I guess. How do you feel sort of early doors? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I always tend to come back in shape for pre-season, so um, yeah, the, the, the way I see it is the harder you work in off-season, the easier pre-season is, I guess, so yeah, I'm ready. Message for the supporters? Uh, see you soon. Let's, let's have a good season.